So I think maybe you've touched on uh, some of it actually, but maybe we could go into a bit more detail because the next question I wanted to ask is how you can b break up in a graceful way. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the time, and because the emotions are so highly charged, we lose ourselves and we do things we regret, we say things we regret, regret. We, come, we become a person that we don't like. Um, and then that's the kind of lasting memory that that other person has of us. And, yes. you know, as you say, without completion, it eats away at you because, you know, someone you've shared a lot of time with um, and you've loved at one point um, has now got this awful view of you that they're going to take with them for the rest of their lives. So even though it is really like full of emotion and, and can really, really hurt, actually, um, is there a way of breaking up gracefully? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said it. See, when the build-up of the breakup, what we just talk about, talked about, when that has been an unconscious build-up, then you're absolutely right. There's so much resentment, so much blame, um, pain, um, making wrong, bitterness, uh, that it's almost impossible to consider that it's gonna, it's gonna be a graceful breakup. It would have required a long time ago a more conscious dealing with what is happening, what has built up to the breakup. If one is really able to, then the most important thing to honor in a breakup is the dignity of the other. It's even in many constitutions in this world written at the beginning of every constitution that the dignity of a human being is the highest good. And if you can grant the other the dignity, no matter how much they have hurt you, no matter how much they have done wrong, if you can give that, honor that, bring that in, you've done a lot. Take your losses, cut your losses, and then commit to learning what there is to be learned and give the other your blessing, even if you don't feel like it, that they have been playing a big role, what you will recognize later when you are starting to really see what was going on and to learn about yourself. You see so many things that suddenly the devil isn't the devil anymore. They have had their own journey, their own learning in the relationship, and they served actually as a mirror for things you didn't want to deal with, you didn't want to look at when it was in the heated time of the breakup. But after that, if your self-realization journey has started and you have a look and you contemplate and you reflect on that and you put it into the spiritual principles that you are learning, then it all starts making sense. Then actually it becomes a gift to see you know, what was playing out because it helps you to get to the core that caused all that what happened in the breakup. Not that you are responsible for it, but in your journey towards a greater version of yourself, you will see that the stuff that happened in the relationship is exactly what you needed to experience in order to get levitated, to have the motivation to learn something very important about yourself that helps you to become a better person. Mm -hmm. And I guess, yeah, I think it would be great if we could all, because uh, you know, I know a lot of people and definitely myself, but I wish I never was with him. I wish I never met him. You know, we kind of have that attitude, but actually if we turned it around and was like, even if it was, um, unstable or upsetting, then, I mean, every, everyone is there to teach us a lesson, right? And as long as we change, flip our perspective on that, then no relationship is a waste of time. <laughs> Absolutely true. Yeah. Absolutely true. Yeah. If you, can, if you can bring the dignity into the equation and into the process, then, yeah, then you are a humble hero. Yeah, um, you are, if you don't do that, if you, if you hurt or if you mm, violate the dignity of another person, you're going to make an enemy for life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They never, they never get over it, except that they reach a level of enlightenment. Um, but other than that, um, 
you need to know that no matter what they do, no matter how absolutely painful it may be for you, that they blame you, that they tell lies about you, and so on and so forth, no matter what, they are fighting for their own happiness. Unconsciously, they just want to, to get out of the inner pain they experience. And yes, they use all the wrong measures and all the rest of it. However, they are struggling and fighting inside as much as you do. And to know that, that nobody is born evil, nobody is, is bad, Everybody is intrinsically good. We just are not conscious enough to use the right tools. And if that can land a, a little bit, then you may have the power to, um, to give the dignity to the other and, yeah, and grow out of that.